Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. We've got a new product to try out today, the TaylorMade Sim 2 driver. Uh, and of course, TaylorMade drivers. Uh, that's probably the brand that most think of when thinking of drivers is TaylorMade. New for 2021 is the Sim 2 family. We've got the Sim 2 driver here. Thomas is going to hit some shots, give us his feedback. Um, should be a really good one because Sim, I think, I mean, was knocked out of the ballpark in 2020, and I can't wait to see what they've done to improve on that uh, with the Sim 2. Yeah, I'm already really excited. I've already taken a quick look at the Sim 2, just at appearance, comparing it to the Sim model, yeah. and there's definitely some subtle differences that I'm really interested to kind of talk about during this video. Just looks a whole lot cleaner looking down at a dress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, you can tell they've, uh, they've maybe changed the color blue a little bit. They've made some tweaks to the shape as well. And we'll talk about the, technical, the technology that's packed in there as well. A lot of stuff from the past, but also a couple of new innovations. So um, we do want to remind people that, you know, with these new clubs, if you have old, an old driver that, they wanna, that you want to trade in, uh, take advantage of the highest values in the industry, you're welcome to do so either uh, in one of our five stores or online at secondswing.com. And also, if uh, you enjoy these reviews of the new products here in 2021 or any of our videos on our channel, uh, feel free to subscribe. Uh, we'd love to hear your comments as well and your feedback. So, uh, well, Thomas, I think we can just start hitting some shots now. Uh, the Sim 2, uh, again, we'll talk about some of the, the new features uh, involved with TaylorMade Sim 2 compared to previous generations. But uh, like you said, the, the look's a little different. Why don't you kind of put it down to the dress, give us that feedback, and then maybe you mentioned kind of the differences between Sim and Sim 2. Yeah, let me grab the uh, Sim comparing to kind of the, the Sim 2. So first thing I notice, the color contrast. So you can see a much darker crown with the Sim 2, the lighter gray with the, with the Sim model there as well. I don't see Sim written on the crown anymore, which I do like. I think it looks cleaner without having a whole bunch mm -hmm. of writing on top of the crown there as well. I talk about the contrast. You got the, the black, the white, quite a bold blue this time okay. around. Yeah. There was a little subtle pieces of blue on the original Sim, but this has yeah. got a lot more blue going on, especially you can kind of see around the back yeah. there as well. And then also at appearance, we can kind of notice, if you're looking at comparing the club heads, kind of east to west, so from the heel to the toe, we can kind of see with the Sim model, it's a little bit, little bit wider. With Sim 2, it seems a little bit narrower, but it seems deeper in the face, where the, the face with the Sim just seems like it's a little okay. bit shallower. Okay. That's kind of one thing I kind of noticed right off the bat comparing. We look on the back, and we notice there's no longer the sliding weight with the, with the Sim 2, and that's the same with the, with the other two driver models as, as well. So this is your lower spinning model. Yeah. Um, so there's no sliding weight there in, anymore. Just, just, the, just subtle cleanness looking down at it. You notice the uh, twist face like the injecting port. So the, the speed mm -hmm. injected port now is slightly on the, on the toe side. So you don't see it on the club face there anymore with those two screws. So there's a lot of differences, yeah, subtle differences. It's yeah. interesting over the years, right? I mean, drivers have kind of, they've, I would say, what, 20 years ago, very clean, right? There wasn't a whole lot going on in terms of the sole of the club where as you move forward into like the 2010s per se, you get a lot of weights on there, a lot of moving around. You got adjustable hosels coming into the picture uh, and just a lot of moving parts, literally moving parts on the sole. And now it seems like we're kind of going back to a cleaner look where you're cleaning some of that stuff up. There's no more sliding weight on this one. And I think the really the big similarity that you can see is what, you know, the sim part is of these clubs, that, that shape in motion is that inertia generator in the back. That's a little bit different shape. They kind of refined it a bit, but it's still there to kind of increase that club speed down towards the ball. Yeah, you said in the back, keep in mind anything that is not in the back, if you have those sliding weights up front, it's taken away MOI. Mm -hmm. So MOI with drivers is definitely the, the big piece in the last kind of couple of years. It's really trying to make the clubs a lot more forgiving. So you don't need to have all these sliding weights. You've got those draw bias clubs out there for those golfers that slice the ball. Yeah. These manufacturers now know that you really, these players don't always play around with these settings. There's definitely models already out yeah. there to, that fit into particular players that right. need those particular settings. And of course, the adjustable hosels as well um, yes. offer that ability to custom fit and uh, adjust trajectory, adjust launch, that type of thing. So um, we've talked a lot about some of the technology and of course the changes that have made just on the surface. So we'll get into maybe some more uh, of the, you know, on the internal of the club. But um, Thomas, let's uh, swing away at some shots here. Uh, the Sim 2 looks, it, it looks awesome. I mean, 
I know you really liked this the sim look uh, previously, just at yeah. address, and I think you you would uh, say that the address profile has been actually improved. Oh yeah, it looks so much cleaner looking down at. I'm excited to hit mm -hmm. some shots. All right, well, let's see what it has, huh? All right. Hit that one well, fairly high. Now keep in mind, loft on this driver's 10 and a half. This is what we've yep. got so far written for initial testing. Yeah, so the 10 and a half degree is obviously uh, a degree and a half you know, more than I think you usually play about nine. So um, it, the spin's gonna be a little bit higher and carry, or I mean, excuse me, height is gonna be a little bit higher. But um, I mean, yeah, that's, you know, these are, that's the numbers that I think you'd expect on a 10 and a half degree driver. Yeah, that was 150 feet in the air. Now, I don't play a 10 and a half degree driver because my attack angle, we'll see here, is five degrees up. Yeah. Needs something a little bit less. And we'll, we'll mm -hmm. test, maybe we'll lower the loft on this after hitting a few shots with this mm -hmm. initially and see what yeah. happens. That sound is, it seems like it's pretty, it's a booming sound, but I feel like it's not like obnoxious. And I feel like it's very, I mean, it's similar to the, the original sim. I think there's not a lot of change there, which I think is, a good thing for TaylorMade. Yeah, there's definitely louder drivers out there. Um, just slightly muted. You know, mm -hmm. keep in mind we're, we're inside here, but it doesn't seem crazy loud right. on the clubface. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, we're seeing that, I mean, because of loft, we're seeing that spin and that, that height go up a little yeah. bit. And um, so that's, that's just by the loft. But I will say, you know, ball speed for, I mean, I know what your ball speed numbers have been. Yeah. Um, and I know you're kind of working on getting that club speed up. Uh, and I, I, I mean, over since we've been testing, you know, for, uh, I would say, you know, a couple of years now, we've been doing these tests and swinging clubs and um, reviewing products. And, you know, your club speed's kind of always hovered around, you know, you kind of maybe started a couple of years ago, 109 ish. And now it's kind of gradually moving up. Ball speed here at 166, 167. Looks it's getting pretty up good, there. right? Yeah. yeah. So. Um, and you know, part of that, of course, is your swinging. But I think you know the clubs are. It's, I think there's some good performance driven by the clubs as well. Yeah. Keep in mind, ten and a half degrees aloft. That ball speed is maybe not going to be quite as high That's as true. I potentially yeah. can get there as well. So I'm excited to kind of test that there as well. But yeah, those those three shots for sure. I, I hit well. Just high. Just yeah. Ten ten and a half degrees aloft is right. just a little bit too much for for me. Didn't quite catch that one. So. So that's kind of the there you go the little toll kind of gear effect. Yep, there. drops that spin right down a little bit. Talk a lot about forgiveness in drivers nowadays. That's yeah. the uh, that's the push for the for uh, drivers now is performance on off center hits. And if you miss the center of the face, the miss is probably the toe <laughs> area because your spin's going to drop and it might might actually go further. It's kind of interesting. Um, uh, it definitely went further there because you get that knuckleball drop. effect there a little bit and it just yeah. kind of flies, penetrates through the wind and through the air. Um, so, I mean, I just, I mean, we can say a little bit about the twist face there as well. Like that's kind of the idea behind twist face is improving performance on off center hits and not, uh, you know, if you miss the center, you know, that spin won't jump way up or anything like that. So that's yeah. the goal of it. And you can see it in action here with that shot. Yeah, definitely can see that. That was, that was a good miss hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Slightly on the, on the toe side is a good spot to be. Did that one well. Yeah, that was smoked. Yeah, that was hit really well. So you can kind of see just a little on that last shot. This is the subtle difference in the height. Mm -hmm. You're going to see how it drops from 150 feet to 136 feet in that landing angle drops a little bit. Yeah. Now it's less than the pitching wedge. <laughs> Seems like a pitching wedge right now with the 10 and a half degrees left. Yeah. But you can see how that spin rate drops, carry goes up a little bit and rolls out a little bit further. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, and that last one, the bowl speed was pretty high there as well. Mm -hmm. so that was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, so we talk about stability and forgiveness a lot with the drivers, and new for the Sim 2 is, you know, you got that, like, forged ring uh, construction, which is, so if you look on the back of the club, that, like, blue kind of forged aluminum there, see how yep. it wraps around that back weight? Uh, so that's supposed to kind of be TaylorMade's way of connecting the club together. Um, whether it's, you know, you got, it kind of connects the sole there, it connects the crown together so that it basically stabilizes the club at impact. And, you know, whether you hit it center off center, it's supposed to kind of, A, dampen the vibration of that, but also sort of resist that twist a little bit there. Mm -hmm. So 
should feel that as well. And that's kind of newer. Haven't had that in the past tailor-made drivers. So that's kind of the big new part of the construction there. Yeah, you can also see uh, it's got a little bit more weight up the front here too. Mm -hmm. So it's in the back and also up the front. So we don't have that sliding weight up front anymore, but they still have distributed some weight up there to keep that spin rate down with this mm -hmm. particular model. Not going to be quite as forgiving as the as your your Max or your, your drawer model essentially, but it's still going to be very very forgiving. Now it's 460 cc's. Mm -hmm. Talk about going that weight push back there as, as right. well there too. So I hit it pretty well. Um, I'm excited. I want to try and lower that loft. Mm -hmm. If you take a kind of quick look at the numbers, you can kind of see how the height there was around about 100 feet in the air on average, 151 feet on, on average there yeah. too. Spin rate was about 2,800. So that's fairly high for what I'm kind of used to. That's to do with the loft of the, of the club here. Full speed was good based on my club speed, 149. Yeah. The only reason I didn't initially do it is because Keep in mind when you do affect the, change the loft on, an, on a driver with the hosel settings, you're changing the lie, or you're changing the face angle a little yeah. bit up there as well. So I may have a tendency to push this just a little bit more to the right, yeah. but I want to kind of see if this puts me more in that optimal range with regards to height and spin okay. when I do that there as well. I may pick up a little bit more distance. Really see the full potential that this, that this Sim 2 driver mm -hmm. can give. Yeah, let's, let's see what you can do here. Yeah, like keep that. in mind too, the Sim 2 comes in an 8 degree driver, a 9 degree, and a 10 and a half. Yeah. So okay. the 8 degree, if you have someone that, you know, really hits up on yeah. it. Really high, really high has attack a, angle. Has or, a lot of speed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really trying to hit the ball far. You could definitely push that loft down a little bit and really mm -hmm. make it. Really like, maximize. Yeah, really max out there too. That carry distance. But keep in mind, hitting the fairways are also important too. So spin. Finding the balance. The ball, finding the balance is also a good, yeah. good fit there as well. See, that's uh, definitely lowered the height. You definitely lowered the spin. Now, like you said, you're going to be, the tendency is for you is going to be an open face angle given yep. what you've done to the loft. But distance wise, that is more of what you're chasing. Yeah, better, better spin, better height. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't get that height down a little bit there as well. I didn't hit that one perfect, but you'll notice kind of what happened with regards to the spin and, and the height right off the bat there. Yep. <laughs> Hit that one well. Wow. There we go. Wow. That was me making up for leaving the face a little open on the last one. That week. is that was, pure. Uh, that was really good. They're more the kind of numbers that I'm, that I'm talking about. That is, I, I mean, there's, there's no such thing as a perfect drive, but <laughs> that has to be close. I mean, 300.0 carry. <laughs> And I don't think there's any curve on that ball, so no, that's, that's zero curve. That is, that's good. That's yeah, a that, good tee That shot. was good. Yeah, the first swing was a little, a little reminded. Just get that club face turned over with that face being a little bit more open when I reduce the loft. Mm -hmm. and there we go. That's the that's the advantages of of loft from the driver. Yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> yep. Another one. See the, the, Sign me up with the, those two swings. See, that, that height is actually still pretty high, so it's got that higher launch. High launch, low spin. Low spin, yep. which is, we've talked about that before, that's sort of the elusive combination that manufacturers are going for with drivers nowadays. Th those last two are exactly that. Lower spin, but the high launch still, so that carry distance. I mean, I know you've been chasing, well, I think this past summer you were chasing 290. <laughs> Now you got 300 yeah. uh, with the Sim 2 here. Yeah, uh, and not many testing yet. I have I really cracked that 300 yard carry. So, mm -hmm. who else to yeah. tell made here? Yeah. yeah, the Sim 2. Look yeah. at that. Full speed over 170. 170. Yikes. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> Club speed. Ripping at it, Thomas. I'm just 114 miles an I hour. I am so confident with this driver. Those three swings, you can check out the like the curve difference on those three swings. Those things, you know three swings are should. pretty, I pretty think straight. We should. Yeah, we got the curve. Three swings up there. there. So the first one was, you know, th that was the one to face the left open, and yep. you had kind of a fi uh, push fade on it. Uh, but then you look at these. Yeah, I mean, come on, look at these two shots. So this one is, I, yeah. So this was that first one that 
you hit, you hit, I mean, at exactly 300 carry, so we're showing total distance right now, but that is mm -hmm. on the center line. That's, that's really impressive. I mean, just kind of looking, I'm looking at the spin, I'm looking at the landing angle, the height, those three numbers for me just make sense with regards to that, that yeah. change. And two degrees of loft made with regards to yeah. the numbers where, you know, mm -hmm. I would, if you were watching this video originally, you would have thought, oh, those numbers are kind of mediocre, 10 and a half degree driver. Yeah. So this is the, the this right. is more of the loft, the fit for you in terms yeah. of the launch and spin and all that. Now, just for fun, right? Just for fun. <laughs> take yeah. out that first miss and that is a fun dispersion circle to look at now yeah. this is a small sample size of course <laughs> um, but yeah. that is very fun to look at it you know, properly fit to a sim 2 driver and you know you're got 170 ball speed your your spins in that low 2000s you're carrying over 300 yards Thomas not bad not bad for the TaylorMade sim 2 uh, good good combo you don't you don't I don't need to hit another one this, this I, <laughs> I was three in a row I in a fitting, if I had someone's three in a row flush right that, I'd be like, we're, we're done here. We don't, yeah. we don't need to see <laughs> that's, anything else. But That's a winner, yeah, I think. That was, that was pretty good. So. Yeah, the TaylorMade Sim 2. So there are three, and we'll have, you know, we'll have content on the channel of all three models, comparing them. Yep. Um, but the, you know, essentially, this is the Sim 2, kind of going to be the lowest spinning of the three. The Sim 2 Max, kind of like the Sim Max, just a little bit higher MOI, more weight in the back, like we've talked about before that back weight is 24 grams instead of 16 grams. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the Sim 2 Max D type is gonna be your draw bias, more weight in the heel. And so uh, golfers looking for Sim 2 driver technology, those are sort of the three that uh, you kind of have to figure out with a fitter maybe to figure out which one is the best fit for you and your swing. Um, I would say Thomas is probably, you know, the Sim 2 is just the standard model is probably the best fit for him. Uh, based on this testing, uh, <laughs> to get him in that uh, lower loft there at like nine or eight and a half degrees. But uh, again, for golfers that want to upgrade to Sim 2 and are seeing this video and thinking, yeah, this is the farthest Thomas has probably hit a driver or darn close in some of these <laughs> videos, um, maybe upgrade to something like that. And one of our fitters will be able to help you out, identify the, the, the club head that's right for you and get you dialed in and hitting longer, straighter drives on the golf course.